Bert, your partner is a moron. And he's a liar. And make no mistake, he's lying to you too. The difference is, I walk out of here, you walk out of here losing 400,000. You can't serve this food, man. Look at you can't let stuff sit in here. This is disgusting, guys. You gotta shut this place down. There are some things that need to be cleaned, but at the same time, we don't have proper cleaning facilities to clean any of this. So when you opened this bar, what was the deal with your brother? The deal was, you know, he was gonna run it. He's gonna be the nuts and bolts guy. You know, I was gonna help with the, the business end. How'd that work out? Well, it's not working out good. That's why you're here. How much money you got in this place? About 300,000. 300,000. How much money does he have in it? None. So your brother it does, it doesn't respect your money, or he's an idiot? I think he respects my money, and I don't think he's an idiot. So is he lazy? No, absolutely not. So, really? So did you change this oil? Look at the color of these, Chef. Is that right? No. So look at that oil. Can any of this be right with that oil? No. no. So all of this is freaking wrong. That's disrespectful, man. You did is disrespectful to your customers. I'm, I'm trying to do what I can do. You're going to get I'm, somebody I'm, I'm, sick. I'm one guy in here trying to do what I can do. So are you they're a saying, wimp? Saying, are you an idiot? Saying, are you lazy? I'm what saying, I'm what exactly are you're you? I'm too hard on these people. I'm trying to do the best I can do, the best I know how to do. And yeah, we're up tonight. So the best you can do sucks. You know, when you were prison guard, you protected people, didn't you? Yes, sir. Your job was to keep the population safe, correct? Yes, sir. Did you keep them safe tonight? No, sir. Yeah, blew it. Bottom line is the responsibility for the issues, for a lot of the issues we have, falls on my brother because he's the manager. Listen, I didn't call this guy. He called me. So I came to take care of my little brother and help him out. And I'm doing the best I know how to do. I don't have no help. I'm trying and trying and trying with these people. These people are making minimum wage and they're making more money than I am in this place. Good. This place is grinding me to the Bold. This job is grinding me to the bone. Listen, this you're doing throwing at me, this is really disrespectful. I understand you're here to help, and I understand we're up, but that's really disrespectful, sir. Well, because that was disrespectful, and life isn't fair. So if you want my help, you're gonna have to deal with the fact that I do disrespect you right now. And I'm willing, I do! And I'm willing to do that. I'm willing so to take that. Say yes, sir, and clean your kitchen. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm more than welcome. Yes, sir. And then shut up. Yes, sir. Thank you. Clean your kitchen. You control your brother. Tomorrow I work with you, not him. Yes, sir. Good night, gentlemen. You all right, man? It was like getting bum rushed by inmates, dude, to be honest with you. I mean, I've trained for this kind of thing when I was in the tactical team. You know what I mean? Where inmates bum rush you like that, but I was, I was totally out, caught off guard, dude. Now you, you want to know what disrespect is? That's disrespect. Hey, don't come on me that, because it's I'm too letting you know. I'm, I'm letting you know. I know. You, you the one touching the rags and doing everything he just said, right? Oh my God, I feel like I don't know if he was just yelling at me. Oh, I don't know if he was yelling at me. I really don't know what was going on back there, but I'm worried about both of them because um, in the end, we're all family. Two sides of ranch, two sides of honey mustard, two sides of barbecue sauce, all to get. Better what? Just give me some Viagra and let's get out of here for a couple hours. Well, you can see he's really rising to the occasion. <laughs> so she used the tongs that fell out of the tongs onto the dirty surface. And she didn't even wipe the surface. Now she has her fingers on the inside of the cups, touching that food. Oh. There's raw chicken all over everything. Yeah, it's disgusting. What a late man. That's like the kitchen sink in there. You're gonna have to give me a beer or something to be back here. The Dirty Red's asking for a drink over there. Order up! Them folks gonna be riding home by this I say the three of us go, when you go back in the kitchen, they can't serve that food. Yep. Joe? Yes. I'm John Taffer. Very nice to meet you. This might be the worst bar I've ever seen in my life. Okay. When was the last time you washed your hands? Mm, when I went to the restroom. When you went to the restroom? You got a cook in the back who mm -hmm. curses every time he gets an order. Yes, he does. All he wants to do is go home. Doesn't want to cook anything, correct? Yeah. Dirty Ray, how's it going? Good for you. I'm going to be the guy who shows you how to run a kitchen properly. Let me ask you a question. How many cigarettes you smoke tonight? 
two? Two. How many times you wash your hands tonight? I want you to understand how bad this is. I'm sitting outside watching a cook who doesn't want to cook, and you have raw meat and chicken everywhere that you touched. You then make a Bloody Mary. Her hands are all over everything. So your kitchen is disgusting. Where's the manager in this place? I seen you coming over to this disgusting grill. As Tell me about it. Tell you about it, you're the cook. Who cleans these I can't do everything. I cannot do everything here. What's your name? Michael. And you run this place? Yes, sir. Do your employees, are they required to wash hands? Yes, sir. Did they? Mm, if you're yelling at me, I might have to assume no, sir, they haven't. Do you have a cook who's putting on gloves properly or not? I'd sell gloves on his hands, yes. Well, he's touching raw product with the gloves on. So you don't know what's going on in the kitchen. You don't know what's going on in a bar. How much money are you losing a month? Yeah, four, six thousand. How much more you got before you're out of money? Not much. And I've been watching you back and forth tonight, smoking, asking for drinks, and you're telling me you're too busy to clean the f kitchen? You know, this is a straight up lie. Yeah. You're a Navy man, aren't you? Yes. You're going to battle. Gotcha. Everything is on the line, right? Yep. Is this the guy you're going to battle with? Yes. Really? Yes. He's going to keep it clean. He's going to keep it organized. Absolutely. I think you're both full of uh, You know he won't do that. No, I know damn well he will. So why isn't he? Maybe. Lack so, of training. So you have to be trained to go look. Not to go look, no. Bullets are coming at you, and he doesn't even know it. Have you drained the oil sense and cleaned the fryer? Nobody has ever showed me how to drain the oil and clean it and put the same oil back in there. You get paid, right? Yeah. This is your job. This is not rocket science. This is drain the oil, clean it, and strain it back in. You're blowing it, and he's paying the price. And you know better. Don't claim ignorance. You're not trying. And as long as you don't try, I will bust you and I will embarrass you because I am going to save his retirement. Get it? Yes, sir. Go clean your freaking kitchen. And I will come back here tomorrow and I will teach you how to win because right now you're just losing. These are straight up excuses. You're right. You know, when someone told me earlier tonight that you want to do a good job here and you I have do a want to do a good job. This attitude, this is. And that cook, if he doesn't clean his mess, does he have a job here? Does he? No. Go tell him. Take control of this, and then Damn. I will bail you out. Damn! I don't like being a bitch that like that by some pompous ass. Yeah, I wanted a goddamn beard. I still do. If Joe the owner and Mike the manager don't step up, then I can't rescue this bar. So tonight, they have to clean this bar, get it organized, and if they step up, tomorrow, I'll step up. Hey, ma'am? Yeah. Uh, can we get a drink? Sure. I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes. Um, I'm sorry. Can I get a whiskey sour? A whiskey sour? Whiskey sour neat, no Two. ice. Okay. All right, whiskey sour is an easy drink. Yeah. Two ingredients, yep. correct? Let's see what she's doing here. OK, so there's whiskey and sour. You see one straight up there, Phil, without ice? No. Nope. Now, shouldn't the sour be shaken every time? Yeah, you have citrus in there. You need to shake that. You need to bind the ingredients together. <laughs> He's just straining it out. And add more sour. Good. Oh! That way you can't taste the whiskey whatsoever. So now I have to go back and do it. Oopsie. There we go. When somebody asks for no ice, it doesn't mean fill it up with more mix. It just means they don't want any ice in it. Right. They understand that the drink won't necessarily fill the glass. Sure. Oh, man. You any whiskey in yours? Good look on his face. face. <laughs> we'll get this, yes. In that drink, it had something black in it. Look. Oh, OK. But there's something floating in there. They need to figure out what what is floating in there, where it's coming from. She said there was something floating in her Sprite. Uh, that's fine. They're just going to make another one and just pretend that it didn't happen? Ugh. What the hell is that? 
Ooh, I don't know what that is. So there's two drinks to something floating. Now, one was a soft drink from the gun. Yeah. This is not from the gun at all. No. If something's in a soda and his drink, it's probably coming from where they scoop the ice from. So it would contaminate everything. Let's go in and find it. Liz, come here. Is it legal to smoke behind a bar? I don't think it's illegal. It is. I didn't know that. Is it legal to give tabs? Is it legal for somebody to sign a tab, not pay for a drink, and leave this building? I don't know that either, because we've been here You don't know that. So you've been here for 30-something years. Yes. It's illegal to have tabs. Did you know that you're about a month from closing? Yes, I do know that. Who's had a black speck in their drink? Anybody have a black speck in your drink? Has anybody said that to you tonight? That there's something in my drink? Yes. Has it happened other times? With people with stuff in their drinks, yes. And what did you do about it, Liz? I just got ice and I didn't see anything. If you have something in your drink, and you have something in your drink, and you have something in your drink, then there's some bacteria or bugs or something in this place. I want to find out what the hell it is, Phil. Where do you get your ice from is my the question. Ice machine back here. OK, let's go, go take a look at that, John. This is where the ice is made, is in this little block right here. Holy Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! I've Look never at this. cleaned the ice machine. You see all that water? That it's all going down inside of there. If ice is being made right there, John, this is where it lands right here. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh. Oh wow. You think your customers, if they knew about this, would they want to be drinking anything I don't want to drink out of that. Absolutely not. This is what your guests are drinking right now. Every single time that they're in here, they're drinking this. Come with me. This is what's inside the ice machine. Look at it. Oh, my God. I'm done. Here you go, Liz. This is for you. It's gross. Get all the ice out and clean it. Kim, you manage her because she obviously can't manage herself. This place is a hole. So I'm closing your freaking bar. No more tabs, no more smoking behind the bar, no more disrespecting her father's legacy. That is over. And when you do your job, I'll come back and save your ass. The cakewalk is over. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Crystal. And Crystal, what is your relation to her? That's my mom. That's your mom. Are you proud of your mom or ashamed of your mom? Tonight I was ashamed. How far in debt are you? Maybe $144,000. $144,000. And how much money are you losing a month? Sometimes $4,000, sometimes $6,000. So how much money do you have left? Nothing. Nothing. How's your house mortgage doing? I'm in the hole. Oh, are you going to lose your house? If things don't get better, yes. So how's the whole boob thing working out for you then? Well, if you want to see it, I'll let you know. I don't want to see it. OK, you want to have a drink and talk about it uh, one more time? She just wants to have a drink, doesn't Mom. she? If you don't want to do this, I'll leave right now. Mom, Mom, Mom. Mom. John Taffer! John Taffer! J-O-N-T-A-F-F-E-R! I need your help! Come back, please! Is what you're doing working? No! Are you failing? Yes! Why are you failing? Because I'm a loser! So are you ready to not be a loser? I need your help! Are you ready to stop being a loser? Yes! Well then say it! I am a loser and I want to stop! Say it! I'm a loser and I want you to help me. Do you really get anywhere flashing your tits, do you? No. Do you want to grow up? Yes. I will put money in your wallet if you keep your tits in your shirt. That's the deal. OK. It isn't about your boobs anymore. It's about them and this business. Yes, sir. Thank you. Talk to your mother. I'll straighten her ass out tomorrow. Woo! That 
was unbelievable. So you're gonna stop being a dirty slut? John Jefferson had saggy boobs? You do! John Jefferson doesn't know what the f he's talking about. My tits stand up like the American yeah, flag. Look, she's doing it already. Oh my God. I'm not even out of there a minute. Do you not understand you need his help? Do you want to lose your house? He made me sound old and disgusting. But you, you are. are! I'm you not old to, and disgusting. You need to shut the f up and take the goddamn help. I don't talk to you crazy, but if you don't shut the f up and you take the help, you're not moving in with me. Act like a f adult. You're drunk. Let it go. No, Y'all need to go back to work. I asked you not oh. to show or move your boobs oh. within one minute oh. of walking out of here. You were standing there like this. If your chest is more important to you than your wallet, you're an idiot. Do you get that? Your mother has a sickness. If you can't expose yourself, you have no reason to live. Understand, if she does this one time, I will leave here and I will not come back. Your mother is in debt $140,000. She's gonna be living where when she loses her house? With me, and I can't deal with that stress. You're gonna blow this, move in with your daughter who doesn't want you. Isn't that an ass That's kind of cruel, but yes. If it's truthful, then it's not cruel. Say it again. Is that a mother who's an ass Yes, Mr. Taffer, I'm a ass You like it? Yes, thank you very much. Doesn't bother me, because you're the ass You see, I'm an ass when I want to be. You're an ass all the time. That's the difference. I act like one. You are one. OK, then help me. Change me. Help me the out of debt. You help me. Don't Ask me to show me, show you how you told me you will help me right now. So show me, don't tell me how are you gonna First help me? First of all, me? don't tell me not to anything. You don't say to me anything, I do what I want. And your job is to say, yes, sir, Mr. Taffer, and I'll save your ass. You gotta straighten her ass out. If you don't, she loses her money and she's your problem, stuck living in your house. And what do you do then? Let me talk to her. Your life is on the line because okay, you have fine. an ass mother. Shut up and listen. Uh, Taffer. Oh my God, tell me I will, you. I will, I promise I'll pay attention to you. First of all, I'll behave, I swear to God. Whatever he wants, I'll do. I cannot lose my house, my business. Everything's in its stake at this point. Please. This is bull because she knew all this yesterday, didn't she? Yes, but I don't But care. you did it anyway! If you call me tomorrow, I'll come back. For you, not for her. So be quiet and don't go outside and talk about your tits. Stop showing your tits. Oh, and oh my god, another shot. Boy, look at this, guys. We're just lining them up here. Did you pay for this? I'm... Howard really bought it for her, didn't he? Yes, sir. How many drinks did you buy her tonight, Howard? You don't even know, do you? No, sir. And why? I don't get this. Why? Why? I just like to have a good time. So you like to have a good time at his expense? Oh. So, and are these your buddies? Yes. And they come here and drink for free, don't they? No, they have tabs sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, right. Yes. Because he's working his ass off, and you're partying yours month after month. How many times have you written checks, Howard? 25 at least. 25 checks for $2,000, and this is what you do in front of him? Sometimes. Sometimes, she says. I got his back. So I want to see what you got. Come behind the bar. I'm going to do my own recon. All right. What's your favorite drink to sell? Not to drink, Heather. I make a cucumber shots. No, not shots, a cocktail. Can you make a margarita? Sure. OK, make me 15 of them right 15? now. 15? Yes, make me 15 of them right now, because I'm going to do what Howard does it. I'm going to call you out. He's being way too nice. Let's see what you got. All right. 15 of them, let's go. I got it, I got it. It's the most popular drink in America, Heather. You should be able to do it. You're right. Now do it without putting your hands all over the top of the glass. So you're just running your fingers through your hair and everything else. We gonna be here all night, Howard? No, it I'm not. It looks like it. Shut up! 
This is amazing. I'm working fast! If she was sober, could she do this? Uh, yeah, I am sober. Yeah, but she can't do it. Why? I'm, I'm not because sober. Because she's had probably five or six shots no, since I'm we've been fine. here. I'm fine. So is she more generous when she's drunk? Absolutely. Is she more flirty when she's drunk? Absolutely. Uh, this is not do you lose me, more though. money when she's drunk? Absolutely. So why the hell are you drunk? I'm not drunk. You are taking shots, sitting here with your girlfriends. What did you do tonight that was work? You know, Howard, the quicker you tell her you're not writing any more checks, the quicker she straightens up. You know that. <sighs> yeah, I know that, but you know that it's a little hard to do. I get it, but you're enabling it, aren't you? No, he's not. Give me a minute, give me a minute. So now I've been waiting, what, seven, eight minutes for yeah, these drinks? Yeah. You just told me to make them, give me a chance to make them. Doesn't that bother you? That you're freeloading off your husband to party? Doesn't that bother you? How do you make a margarita? Should it be shaken or should it be built in a glass? Should be shaken. Thank you. Don't point at me. Should now shake. shake them and start over again. Every time. Divorce. Every time it should be shaken. Divorce. No! I'm glad you think this is funny while he keeps writing the checks, because you're dumping more of his booze down the drain now, aren't you? Well, it's our money. I put a lot of money in, too. It's not just about him. I have worked my ass off, He's writing too. the checks and going to a well, job. right now, yes, but I also put initially all my money in. No. The hell with you. No! Howard, I got your back, but I don't want to do this for her. This is outrageous. I don't want... It's incredibly disrespectful, no, I... and you better realize I it. I want your help. I'm out of here. So do I still make the drinks? Why are you here? I have some really amazing people here. My coworkers, customers that come in here. I've been here for 10 years. I keep struggling because I want to see this place succeed. It's a big part of your life, isn't it? Yeah, and it's really killing me. Want to hear the most moronic thing? Bert's going to lose his house over a $10,000 tax bill, right? Yes, sir. But they drank 51,000 in drinks. Did you know that, Bert? I had a suspicion. Well, then why the do you allow it? How much of his money has he given you, John? 400000 $400,000. How long did it take him to earn that money? 20-something years. 20-something years, and you're sitting there drinking it away, crying in the corner. <laughs> oh, I'm so, I can't make it. What am I going to do? What the hell are you guys doing? I was shocked that they were that high. I did not have any idea that's how much we were drinking away. The money spent could have paid my taxes. That made me feel horrible. What's your name? I'm Fifi. Hi, Fifi. How long have you been here? A year and a half. Have you seen them drunk, sitting on their butts, making a fool of themselves? Oh, yes, plenty of times. Yep. What's your name? My name's Danny. And how long have you been here, Danny? Uh, about three months. Gotcha. And you, and you run the kitchen? Nah, I try to, yes. You try to. What's your name? Steve. Hey, Steve, how long have you been here? I've been here for nine months. Nine months? Yes, sir. Why are we failing in your opinion, Steve? Uh, they drink too much, plain and simple. And then when they're drunk, they can't do anything well, can they? No, sir. How's that make you feel? I tell them No, it should. You've ruined this. And what would happen if I wasn't here? Because you said it last night, you would close. Yeah, plain and simple. I want to run us right now, so here's the deal. I'm going to sit down, and I want to see if you can handle six freaking orders. Phil is going to be sitting at the bar watching you guys make the drinks. Chef is going to be in the kitchen watching you guys make the food. Industry average for time out of the kitchen is what, Chef? I mean, 15 is a Christmas gift. I'm giving you 15 minutes to get the food out. I want to see what happens. I would love a Bloody Mary, a margarita, an old-fashioned, a vodka Collins, daiquiri, and a Harvey Wall banner. Okay. And a menu, please. Okay. You got it, Steve. I'll have a Harbor Burger. Do you want mayonnaise or mustard? Mustard. I'll have an Ouch Burger. Do you want french fries or tater tots? We're out of onion rings. You're out of onion rings. All this is clean? Not yet. Well, hold on. I'll give you these. Caribbean burger, medium rare. Okay. Fabulous BLT. And let me try a patty melt. Okay. But drop everything at once for me. Okay. Do you know where the salt is? Oh, we don't have any. Oh, I've been using table salt. 
Mm, actually, this is kind of half bad. Here we go, sir. Margarita. And this is the Bloody Mary. How much liquor is in this? Five count of tequila, and then a three count of the Grand Marnier. And then wow. we do maybe three ounces of the uh, margarita mix. Try that one. Is it flavorful or watery? It's a little watery. This is really terrible. You agree? Yes, sir. <laughs> How do you like these uh, circus straws that they have here? Mm. Nice. OK. So what is this? Strawberry daiquiri. Oh, Phil, it's complete syrup. These drinks that these bartenders were serving were just in tall glasses and filled with nothing but mix. They were sugary, you couldn't taste the alcohol, they're absolutely horrible. How about some food? What's going on back there, chef? You like burnt meat? Looks like the kitchen's on fire. Yeah, it is. The kitchen's on fire? Let's go in there and watch. Yeah. Why is that grill burning? Like that it? grill has not been clean for as long as they own this place. It has so much fat, that's why the grill is on fire. Why is the grill on fire? Too, I guess too hot. <laughs> you guess what? It's too hot. <laughs> now, last night it was on fire too, correct? I mean, look at that. Does that look right to you? It's covered in carbon, for Christ's sakes. Look at that. I was doing other stuff. Eating on that. OK, I'll let the excuses come. Well, I'm going to give no, you a pen. You can write them down. John, you're standing three feet in front of him. Is that right? No. I turned it down. So why is it happening if you know it's not right? I turned it down. That you was... moved him out of the fire when I said something. Don't bull me. Here's the question. Right. Is it like that all the time? No, sir. Is it? Yes. Yes. I can't serve that to you. I can't serve it. You served it. it last night, though. You served it last night. John, say it. I don't recall Can serving we, it last night. Did we sell burgers last night, Danny? No, whole bunch. Were they cooked just like this? About like that, pretty close. You lie so much. It's disgusting. No, I didn't cook a burger personally like that last night. I'm done. Stop freaking lying. Look at this, for Christ's sakes. Shut it down. Clean this place or I'm gone. OK, you got Get it. Get on your Knees. Pick that up. I don't want you to wallow in your John. Why don't you picture your kids down there with you? Unbelievable. Bert, your partner is a moron. And he's a liar. And make no mistake, he's lying to you too. The difference is, I walk out of here, you walk out of here losing 400,000. Your partner is a liar. Phil, let's go. Chef, let's get out of here. I don't even want you guys in here. When this is clean and organized, I'll come back. Let's get out of here, guys. It's all good. We, we, got, we got this. They're going to take care of that. We're going to take care of this. Come on, let's do it. Sean is a liar. I hope that this is an intervention now that things are coming to surface of how much John actually is not doing. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.